All right, so without baseball, we figured we'd watch some baseball. How about that? This is Watching Baseball. Intro music, intro music, intro music. Watching Baseball is brought to you by the store at John Boy Media. Shop.johnboymedia.com. Buy some shirts. Support us. Thank you. Jake, how are you doing? It's good. Really professional. I'm Very good. I'm excited to watch baseball. baseball. Yeah. You got it. This is the oh, ninth little elbow. Little elbow. And this is the nineteen seventy your chair's higher than so me. So it's a good game. Yeah. Now I'm lower than you. Okay. Okay. Nineteen seventy two World Series game four. Cincinnati Reds. I was at this game. At Oakland Athletics. The crowd was nuts. Interested to see the different style of play, the different camera work, yeah. the different graphics. And this is a fun ending to this one. Haven't seen it before, but I, I read about it. So, I mean, let's just hit play and, and see what happens. Two, we'll watch. Yeah, let it run. Two early powerhouses of the 70s. We're watching just the eighth and ninth inning of game four. And I believe Oakland at this point is up two to one. Yes. So this is to tie the series at twos or take a commanding 3-1 lead. Okay, all right. Okay, here we go. All right. Video quality. Looks like it's from 1972. <laughs> the curveball? Yeah, a little yacker. Did you know that this series had a cool nickname? I did. What is the nickname? The Hares versus the Squares. Because since he still had a no-shave policy and the A's okay. were all crazy looking. I like that. And I think the other, you're, you're going to know a lot of the names in this. I mean, a lot of good baseball names. The start of the big red machine for Cincy. Oh, <laughs> <Again>, Lucy <laughs> Goosey. Lord. Oh, Big Daddy. That guy's a bench coach in today's game. <laughs> Chopper. Shortstop. Deep in the hole. Ooh, Ooh that, that was a nice tight. play. Yeah. First baseman wanted good it. Good stretch, too. He's, oh, he's so mad. Players used to get into the umps a little more. I think we need that. Well, back. now there's replay, so it's like, yeah. What do we think? This was a good play, right? <laughs> well, if he made the play, the camera work would have been great. Ooh, did they know. have him? Nobody knows. Um, I mean, even replay sucked. You still got lines on the field. Honestly, if you're the ooh, he got some glove there. It's close. If you're the third baseman, he ends up right in his throwing lane. I think you almost gotta. Flag it down there, Manny the style. On now for in the eighth inning. Tying run. Oh, yeah, Oakland's up one nothing. Bando. And the other, the A's were underdogs in this series. I think they were going to be underdogs anyways. But Reggie Jackson, heard of him, he pulled his hamstring in this ALCS, stealing home. Whoa. Yeah. You did some research. I did a little bit of research. So this was the guy. Hate having knowledge. <laughs> this is this Mr. Was the guy Mr. Who, Sexy. Who's getting his hip action in. Look at him dig. You see him digging there? All the inverted stances from oh, this time this period. Oh, look at this dual screen. Wow, this, this must have been big at the time. Oh. That's what he got loosened up for? <laughs> Hell of a sacrifice. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. That's the old wheel play, right? Nobody on second base. The the old school baseball players played such a combination of like dickhead aggressive baseball slash like by the book nerd baseball. It's Ooh. a real weird combo. So was that that might have been Julian Javier because they pinch hit for the pitcher, right? And now Pete Rose is up or no? Yes. Yeah. You go all the way down, you find it. Right, the play-by-play. Play. Oh, look at the, You're missing some good. Pete Rose hit 315 against lefties in 1972. Look at that sideburn action. Yeah. Really squaring off the ear. Oh, my God. That was like eating the ear. Yeah. So that was Julier, Julian Javier. Yeah, I had it. Yeah, and he, he got all his hits. Mr. Loose. Sexy. I mean, a good sack bunt. You don't see that a lot, moving the runner over. For Pete Rose, Don't that's a anymore. really great call. We've got the hit king up. Yeah. A ball to Pete Rose. I hate this camera angle. They use it all. Look at that side Chopping off the ear. Legs were tight. Okay. Man, HD is a beautiful thing. Yeah. You could tell the two teams, kind of. <laughs> oh. Okay. Too late. Oh, he come off the bag there? Yeah, right. They I think call, he's out in 2020. Now. He's out in 2020. Who's calling this game? This year, and he Any idea? Oh, okay. Average arm, George Hendrick, 
Got an average arm it's a big and outfield. Look at that. Oh, the, my God. A little bit of a hole. Oh, they have a big hole open on the first and second base side. In between first and second. And they're pitching him outside. Raleigh Fingers and Vita Blue getting loose in the pen. No ear flaps. Joe Morgan. Joe Morgan and... Um, yeah, I mean, Pete Rose, Johnny Bench. Dude, keeping track of balls and strikes sucked back in the day. You had to just Stop. memorize it. You had to be locked in, man. Nobody had a cell Whenever phone Whenever your grandpa him. tells you, like, he used to, like, love baseball, well, right off, off the, the glove. It's a nice play. Made that yeah. look easy. Stepped on second just to get just to carry the over out. Anyway, your grandparent had no idea what the balls and strikes were. Like, think about how much... I think that's why there's the old depiction of, like, getting yelled at. Like, shut up, I'm watching the game. Yeah. I think it comes from you had to pay attention. Otherwise, you were lost. That's why people used to score at home. Yeah. They didn't have the scoreboard on the screen. Yeah. People yeah. still score at home. But it makes so much more sense now. Oh, yeah. You would have scored at home in the 70s. Oh, absolutely. Easily. There's no way to know what's going on. I love the oh, catcher's look. Oh, here we go. I love the catcher's look. The, the actual baseball cap at underneath the helmet. Yeah. Oh, that cap is great. Where's that cap right now? That got thrown out. Is that a goodwill? Who, can you find out who the catcher is? Catcher is. Big 3-8. I think he had a big he had a big series. I remember looking that up. That, ump's on the, that ump was in the Civil War. Yeah, he was. Oh, my God. Thank you for your service. <laughs> Uh, the Oakland catcher was Gene Tennis. Gene Tennis. He had a big series. What is it? What's his career like? Like he had a bad year that year. He won. Uh, spoiler. He wins the World Series MVP. Um, One-time All-Star. Forty-six point eight career WAR. Pretty good for a catcher. Really nice for a catcher. Oh, so the ball hit the pitcher? Yeah, he got it with his glove, I think, or his, or his hat. Oh, no, that's still the ball. It's just terrible grass. Yeah. He nicked it on the way back. Oh, look at this batting stance. This Joe Morgan. Morgan. Vita Blue. Vita Blue versus Joe Morgan. I mean, this is... This is a... Uh, Shut up, honey, I'm watching the game. Yeah. Six and ten with a 280 RA. Jacob DeGrom. <laughs> Sorry, Mets fans. Did you see that? They said that Vida doesn't want to be a relief pitcher. He wants to be a star. Yeah. I think Vida ran into some trouble with the law later in his life. Well, I think he started during the season, too. And then they came into the postseason, and they're like, we need you out of the yeah. And then what I'm talking when about, I think he held his wife pens. at gunpoint. Yeah. Later on in his life. That's the bad times. Okay. Lefty on lefty action here. Oh, Shopper. He saved the game on Saturday for Holt. Joe Moore. And two thirds innings of shutout relief. Who's this? It's Concepcion, I think. Concepcion's on third. Vita Blue's on the mound. The best catcher ever is behind the dish. Yeah. In the playoffs and World Tennis. I mean, this is a big moment. Lefty on lefty with the tying run in the eighth inning on third. And a long hold Slider away. The one two pitch. Oh, I mean, dude, I can't even tell, like, unless it's a slow curve. Okay, fine tiring up. Unless it's a slow curve, you can't tell. This is why old people, like, hate information so much. Because when they watched, they didn't know the count. Nothing. The inning. Nothing. They barely knew what hitter was up. They definitely didn't know what pitches were being thrown or pitch mix. It's funny not seeing the catcher try to frame it. Like, the catcher just caught that and threw it to his hand and Three then framed. <laughs> Different times. Man, all these sideburns eating the ears. Yeah. It's intense, man. It really kind of highlights the ear a little too much for me. I mean. You're putting the ear on an island. Morgan and Pete's, it almost, yeah, it almost made a full lap. Do you think they ever, like, combed the hair up a little so it's so it really... Absolutely. Time called. Morgan asked for time. He wanted to step out. Humps are great. Does he have hair sticking up out of his helmet? That's what I was just about to ask you. Maybe. Uh, Morgan being played to the opposite Third field. base coach in ready position. Where's that, deep. Blue? Not Whoa. Double Morgan entendre. Blue, blue and blue. I get it. Bobby Tolan up. Now Dick Williams is coming out to the mound to talk Dick to Dick Williams. 
They've got to talk about what's going to happen if Morgan breaks the second base. Do you like him wearing the white hat? The I don't even understand how that's allowed. Dick Willie. Just show me more of the catcher. Love this catcher. Yeah. As if to say good vibes. This is a pretty good camera. Now, if the man makes it to second, can make out some shapes and stuff. I mean, you can the see the dude's pores these days. The, the Dodgers just zoom in on, like, yeah. a singular pore. Pimples. Going to seven games, and he's going to win it. He looks very confident over there. I'm just wonder if that... Yeah, nodding his head. Bobby, a, okay, so this is yeah, Tolan. I believe he was the center fielder. Take it. It looks short. It does look kind of short. Like that. So are they at the 10-yard line right there, third base? Oh, look at that. Look at that stance. Uh-oh. Tolan gets into one down the line. Love it. Not getting into the corner. Oh. Jeter flip play. Two runs. They took the lead on that. Oh, my <laughs> nice God. Look at the race. Okay. Middle infield. What's happening with that Bobby celebration? It's the middle infielders. Concepcion and Morgan. They're wrestling. Morgan, Concepcion didn't want Morgan all over him like that. I think they both. Just that's, waving pennants? That's what I like. That's an unnatural, natural celebration. Yeah. They didn't know what they, they were doing. They didn't plan that. They were just hug jumping, basically. I think Morgan was tired. Did he run all the way from first? I guess so, yeah. He made it all home all the way from first on that? Throw one to nobody. There was no Jeter for the flip. Now I think we're Johnny Bench time. I mean, it's getting ugly in Oakland right now. I mean, that had to be a hit and run. Slider. That had to be a hit and run. I think they would have said it, right? I, they, like there's, so. this, is one, this is my whole thing. People were just watching baseball in the dark. I think Joe Morgan was fast. I mean, he only got to, I don't know. Second? Look to second for a pickoff. Hey, they're getting run all over. Look at that sideburn. It's going under. It's almost a beard. That is bizarre. Look at that batting stance. Look at all these batting stances. Just hunched over or straight up. Jeez, center fielder was playing deep. Yeah. I thought center fielders used to play shallow. Okay, so what's the score? Oh, good replay, good highlight. There you go, here you go. The score is 2-1 two to one Cincinnati. They just okay. took the lead. Oakland was up one nothing. And I don't know if these, I don't think these are Pedro Borbon, his son, pitched in the big leagues a little later. Um, I think it was Pedro Borbon Jr. But uh, If you're a big league pitcher and you have a son, you name him after yourself. This whole, oh. <laughs> See that warm-up throw? No. What <laughs> just flopped it. Oh, no ball. Um, this whole series was really low scoring, and the ERAs were really low during this time period. So, um, I don't know. If, I don't think it's technically dead ball, but like all the Oakland A's starters, ERAs, it's definitely not technically dead ball because that was like the 19th. All the A's starters, ERAs started with a two. So, um, and yeah, I think. I don't think anyone scored more than three runs in the first four games of this series. So, so that's why those two runs, that's why they were jump hugging and everything. Two runs in one swing? Yeah. Amazing. Oh, another little guy. So who's up here? Here we go. Burt Campanaris. Strike one. And I believe he was batting leadoff for them. Let me see what I... Bring it up. Still third, third baseman's playing in. Still on Gene Tennis's page. I hope I didn't didn't spoil too much. Of him. Third baseman looks like a player. The ump has the chest protector like outside of his body. He's holding it up with his hands. Hard hit. Whoa! Whoa. Other side of the bag. Tony Perez. Good footwork. Concepcion at third. He started that rally. One hit and 12 He's feeling times. good. That's why he was so, like, ready positioned. He's cocky over there at third. Campanaris, he was leading off in the shortstop. Matty Alou is coming up. Yes. Um, the uncle of Felipe Alou. Okay. Oh, that's cool. I have something I want to research. Okay. The old whirly bird. Holy shit. Pretty hilarious that there's no replay of that. Dude, look how fast they work. This game was like a little over two hours. <laughs> Joe Morgan. A little peacock out there. Oh, this ball? Listen, there are good and bad about the old game. Clearly, the fan not knowing that counter or the inning or anything sucks, sure. but they're moving and things they're are moving. happening. Who has to roam that dugout with a pressure on him? Slowly pacing. What do we got? 
Joe Rudy. Cesar Geronimo is going down to the Reds bullpen to okay. warm up his You just heard arm. that. Cesar Geronimo going to the pen. Do you like these unis, Jim? Sure. Oh. I can't, they're, they look basic, right? You just missed. They had the logo was pretty low. Oh, look Go how inverted he is. The, the stance? Oh, my God. All the batting stances are wild, man. He makes stint. Okay, so there's a good look at the jersey. The number Oh, and the I don't like it. They, they're equal. too much on the chest. It looks like it's one sentence. looks like their grandma made it. Dude, that's she just had no creativity. Harder that cut bat- than Stanton. That is a bizarre batting stance. Because not only is he inverted, he's got his hands way down by his hip. It's weird. That's how you hit. Looks like he's playing a carnival game. Pedro. There you go. <laughs> that is. Let's go the Ooh. other way with it, baby. Hear the reggae horn? Oh, yeah. Er, er, er. Why do the coaches wear different color hats? It's, I'm guessing it was just A's at the time because they were being silly guys, but I have no idea. That swing and a miss, that worldly world swing and a miss, yeah. would be gift oh, yeah. and shared and a highlight. Sal Bando. Sal Bando. He's the third baseman. So of course he is. Sal, yeah. Of course. You're either the catcher or the third Sal baseman. Sal Bando is the, is the position that moves the least. Yeah. You can't be called Sal Bando and be a center fielder or a shortstop. Instant reactions only. <laughs> Sal Bando. I like him. Big fan. Oh, yeah. One batting glove. I'm living mustache. a Sal Bando life. Yeah, this guy, like, he would have been your hero. Okay. In play. Okay. Nice. Oh. I guess that was, <laughs> that was that something of the time period. Just <laughs> or flip Tony the, Perez was a jerk. Just flip the ball oh. to the first base coach. Okay. These freeze frames after the inning are one awesome. Er, one error each. You have to pay attention. Awesome. You miss that. You don't know what game you're yeah. watching. Still don't. Cincinnati versus L.A., Denver versus Oakland. Game number seven. <laughs> NFL. Yeah. Good take by Tony, Tony Perez. Perez a struck out, flied out, and single. Struck You've out, never been out, a behind the catcher cam guy. No, I like watching the pitches, but I mean, even this can't forward cam, you can't see the game, can't see much. Like, that was a fastball. It's nice. One ball, one strike. Is this still blue? Yeah. I kind of like the way he's throwing it. Morgan, he's slinging it. Yeah. But his fastball looks like it's got life. Oh, that was off speed. That's going to get down. Nice piece of hitting. Right fielder's there. Oh, Ooh. hello. Perez, hello, tonight. operator. <laughs> Loosey-goosey getting yeah, it in This there. is a World Series. Yeah. Everyone's yeah, loosey-goosey, just series. like. Times are better. It's a much it's a different game. I actually kind of love the football lines on the infield. No, you don't. I kind of do. Ironically, you do. No, I do. Why? It's Robert fun. Right it's ridiculous. See, ironically. No, but yeah, I like it because it's ridiculous. That's not ironical. Bit. You like it because it's dumb, which is ironic. No, I like it because it's funny. So you think that even if there weren't a football field and a baseball field, they should have lines? No, I like it because there is a football field and a baseball field. If it was a if it was a not where a football team played, I'd say that's ridiculous. Oh, changing pitchers again. Catcher not even talking to Vida. No, didn't even take his mask off. Why is he so mad at him? Raleigh fingers will come on. Vita Blue Raleigh fingers. And Tolan double. Here comes Raleigh. Look not at that. excited to come in. No, it just once he hits the dirty, starts running. Here. One, two, mm-hmm. three. Not a ton okay, of pace never from mind. Raleigh. Raleigh. <laughs> Raleigh was anti-pace of play. Roland. Raleigh was saying, we got to uh, slow this thing down. How cool is this slow-mo at the time? It wasn't even and a that was, I think that was like that a, was 70 miles per hour. I think that was a warm up just yes. toss. And he's going to but again, they thought that was awesome. Right it was. Hal McRae. Still is. Everyone knew the Reds had the Hal McRae, former Rays manager for a little bit. Did I dream that? Might have. Could have. Umpire straps on his chest protector. That, oh, oh, no. They picked him off. Oh, man. Wow. Outs in, on the base path. Embarrassing. Tony. Went first movement. Yep. <laughs> Just got to keep going. Yeah, he stuttered. Then he was like, oh, shit. If he kept going, eh, he's probably still neat. But nice slide. 
Makes it one down. And there's a pitch. <laughs> that makes it makes it one down. McCray for a strike. McCray has a single in three times. Three for five. He's scheduled up behind him. Good sideburns. Cincinnati leading two to one in the ninth inning. A strike. Oh no! Quick. You see, I'm with the quick strike. I've been missing that. And for the A's, straight up. The last of the night, Mike Hegan is scheduled to lead off. Then George Hendrick and Gene Tennis. Probably. One of the more normal batting stances we've seen. Yeah, right. You think this was was this an open stance back in the day? Oh, Ooh, okay, Raleigh. That's a wipeout. That. That's a wipeout slide. That was nice, especially went inside fastball and then then he went way off the there. Okay, Raleigh. It's wicked. It's wicked. It's wicked. Here we go. Watch this. Watch this strikeout again. He's kind of got my wiffle ball delivery. Yeah. Okay. We always, it feels like we always miss the first pitch of the at Yeah. No rush. Reds have two no away, rush. Top of the ninth inning. They're leading two to one. This is top nine. Top nine. Big inning. Back. Is, they're all spinning. Dude, the corkscrew swing was in back then. I didn't realize that. I wonder if Bo, Bo Bichette knows that. Yeah. Steal, he's stealing their style. Bourbon will come out for the ninth. Oh, you can That's see that move a little. Move, yeah. yeah. Get it, Raleigh. Raleigh fingers could get outs today. I believe it. Yeah, I believe it. I think a lot of guys could. The better players. The two-one pitch. Oh, all right. A lot of air under it. Dude, Dude. it's funny how much camera work tells the story, and I don't know if you could trust it as much as we trust it now. Oh yeah. No way. All right, so now we're going to the bottom ninth. But this is all they knew. So they probably had no expectations. Like when we see that home run cam. Oh, definitely. So they knew the cameraman sucked. So this is huge. No if fault if Cincinnati them. wins this game, if they get three outs, right. they tie the series two games Geronimo each. Yeah. Is in right field for the Reds. That's a defensive measure. With one more game in Oakland. Geronimo. So who's pitching now? Geronimo. So they're keeping Bourbon in, but they got the pin hot. And who's hitting? Double barrel. Mike. I believe it's Mike Hegan. Hegan. I don't like those jerseys that the A's are wearing. The A needs to be smaller and on the chest, or the num. One of them needs to be small in the. Like <laughs> Can't it be just a sentence. It just seems obvious. Got him. Sparky Anderson. Sparky. On your left, Dick it's a fairly, that might be one of the youngest images I've seen of Sparky Anderson. Ooh. Slapper. Right oh, right field. at him. Ate it up. Sure why is he always... Why Tony Perez loves that down. slide piece. Move. Why is Perez always catching down the other side of the bat? Manky. The hanky panky. Our production stage manager, Jim O'Gorman. Jim O'Gorman. <laughs> Jim O'Gorman, <laughs> shout out. <laughs> I guess they're getting all their shout-outs in. Yeah. It's the be bottom the of the ninth. Out and Look at that weighted stick there, the swinging. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 Been an excellent pinch Spike me. He's been waiting all day for this pinch hit appearance. <laughs> oh, man. Is that, in. is that the perfect or worst personality for a pinch hit? Dude, I love everything he's doing. Yeah. Dirt in the hands. Okay, the color just completely changed. Gonzalo. Gonzalo Marquez. I need to know more about Gonzalo He ain't taking like no shit. I currently like Gonzalo Marquez a lot. You know what that like Good stick eye. was? It was like the metal stake that you put one of those orange... Nets up, okay. net fences yeah. at, a, at a carnival. Those big old stakes. That's what Heavy. he was warming up with. Chopper uh, up the middle. Gets through. No dive. <laughs> I think you got to give a courtesy. It's funny dive, that right? like he was. It's funny that he was taking those badass warm up swings, and then he had that swing. Baseball baby. Baltimore chop. And then they're gonna pinch oh, run for him. What a day. About every time he's been up, he's delivered. Against every time he's been up, he's delivered. I mean, what a day's work. Yeah. He put more effort into that throwing the donut down. Didn't someone this World Series or playoffs do that? Like they just got hits whenever they were in the game? Yes. Someone yeah. on the Nats, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they started it. 
Oh, uh, was it Ass Crabs or Matt Adams or someone like that? Because you, 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 we kept saying, like, remember who started this round? Right. Was it Carpenter? No, 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 no. Was it, um... Or no, it was someone on the Cardinals because no one else. It was Jose Martinez. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody else was hitting for the Cardinals. The whole NLCS except Jose Martinez so yeah. was like, "Hey, play him." Tomorrow, Jim Catfish. They traded him. Jim, yeah. <laughs> oh, well, I can't Pick get that. You know, pinch runner. You sending him here? No, no, no. There's no outs, right? No, there's one out. There's one out. There's one out. He's the tying run. You might send him at some point. He's a pinch runner, right? He's supposed to get to second. You need, you need to score on a double. Alan Lewis. Look how much they think he's being sent. They're doing dual screen the yeah. entire time. Don Mincher. Yeah, so this is your guy Gene Tennis at the plate. Oh, your okay. F- your favorite catcher all time? Flying, Flying up your list. Flying up my list. Flying up your Do list. Do they have any, like, catchers. good beauty shots of Gene I mean, sure they do. I need like an HD Gene Tennis. Tennis, T E N A C E. Oh, wow. Stop for one second. Tennis the Menace. Okay, well, this is Old Man. You like I'm, that? I'm not looking for that. This is what I'm looking for right here. But this is Young Boy. This is too clean. That's a boy. It's no. becoming a man. The people watching can't see the pictures no. I'm showing. Sparky doing mound visits for everyone at home. He was in a Simpsons episode. Wow, wow. Yeah, it's pretty big. He wants his veteran who came in and dispatched the A's with That's what I like right there. Night. Yeah. That's good. I don't know if you guys can see. Carroll, who set a major league record with 37 That's, So they're doing pitchings change. They're bringing in Farrell? Carroll. Clay Carroll. 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 So I walk down to Carroll in HR. So is this mid at bat? Or did we miss something? I don't know. No one knows because there's no score bug. Because it was your guy was up, and he saw a pitch or two. Yeah, there's Bench catching him. Johnny Bench, Sparky Anderson. Oh. You have the play-by-play. Yeah, but that's not going to help. Of course it will. The short relievers. Don't look at what he does. The short relievers are a special breed of man. 37 saves, Clay Carroll. Special breed of man. Mm-hmm. Early thoughts on Clay Carroll. I just think that the short reliever being a special breed of man is just funny. They're all failed starters. <laughs> special breed. All relievers are failed starters. Oh, did you see that? One? Yeah, the old, the whirly bird. Broke that one off. Let's see another one. Okay, a little tighter. I'm just saying, like, starting pitchers are the special breed of man because all relievers are people that couldn't start. Uh, kind of. Kind of. I mean, I think now, back then, yes. Nowadays, I think relievers have some value. Chapman, they tried him as a starter. Adovino, they tried him as a starter. Every reliever. Nowadays, guys, like, breed to become relievers, though, because there's money there, and they get used differently. I think they're all still failed starters. Are field players field start, failed starters? No. Okay. The Grom's a failed shortstop. Yeah. He's the tying run for the A's here in the last of the ninth inning. So is this tennis still? I think this is tennis still. We're got, yeah, it says it's tennis still. Pretty sure he saw pitches from the other guy. In tennis. play. Ooh. It's in the hole. Third baseman was guarding the lines. No doubles defense. No doubles, yeah. Okay, first and second. Now, if you're a Reds fan, you're shitting your pants a little. Oh, big time. Look at this guy. Is that Sparky? That's, no, that's their, that's their head coach. And Don Mincher. Don, Minch, Don Mincher coming up in a big spot. Tying run on second, one out, right? Yeah. Double play in order. Winning run on base. Winning run on first. Huge spot for Don Mincher. The Minch. What do we think about Don Mincher's career? Honestly, dude. Let's see. Everyone is just built like a... Don Mincher, two-time All-Star. So A lot of these guys are built like bricks with legs, and I don't say that nicely. Oh, this is the end of his career. So he started the season in Texas. He got traded over to Oakland. That's what they're saying right now. And this is his last season. Okay. So two-time All-Star, vagabond at this point. 
gun for hire. Yeah. I mean, he looks like he's at the tail end of his. I wonder. Okay. Lefty versus righty. Good eye. Good take. Good eye. That fastball running away from him at 88 miles per hour. You got to step. He steps out. (laughs) Talks to the ump. I didn't like that pitch, Blue. Interesting. You let him know. What was that? He had something in his eye. I don't know. Collect himself. He's trying to put pressure on the pitch. Oh, that's such a pinch runner stance. Well, he's the tying run, man. Oh! Oh! It'll get down. It's down. Oh. Oh. Oh, Oh, no. Oh. All right, Gene so tennis. tennis to third. Yeah. Old. How old was Minch? Mincher. How old was he? I don't think he's crazy old there. Let's see. I mean, Mike. He if if that dude was to be playing, he was thirty four. You would guess he was thirty eight. Big four years. Look at this guy. This so net. who's coming up? He's, so I think we've got another pinch hitter, Manuel. Did you see that? The like again, love. the manager. I think. Was giving him like whisper in his ear advice. Like, yeah. You don't see that anymore. You don't see it enough. Oh, and now there's a nice hug with him. Actually, the all the coach. coaches look the same, so it could have been the hitting coach. I have no idea. Yeah, that's true. Gene Tennis is there. So, what are they going to do here? Because you don't put the runner in motion, right? No. Or do you, but do you want to force their hand? Gene Tennis, he's a catcher. I'm guessing he's not the fastest, but he's got to understand that a pass ball, he's fucking bombing. Let's, okay, so yeah, they're talking about the suicide squeeze play right now to win a World Series game. Um, and, and he's I, doing a lot of hand motions. Like everyone's going in motion. So I think that's a fake. I out. think we're getting a pinch runner. Yeah, we're getting. Blue Moon Odom is coming in a pinch run at first. So, yes, they're basically saying we're going full squeeze. There's going to be speed all over the bases. This is all mind games, though. Oh, <laughs> nothing better than a little backwards. I forgot something, Jog. Oh, hey, I wasn't done, Blue Moon. Oh. Hey, Blue Moon Odom. 13A is coming in to run. Blue Moon Odom got his nickname Blue Moon because one of his school teachers Drinking the beer. said his face looked like the moon. Yeah, I think I think nowadays it's <laughs> hyper offensive. And it's stuck. I think it's just mean. What spark you got under? What are they wearing under the jersey? It's just shirt. collared shirts? It's a collared shirt, maybe, yeah. Damn. Times are tough. So winning run at third. They pinch run for the guy behind him anyways, because they're they're setting up the suicide squeeze just to get speed everywhere. But there's no reason to pinch run at first besides a mind game. That guy does not matter. As soon as that guy right. scores, as soon as that guy game's scores, over. the game's over. So all you're doing with the pinch runner is you're hoping that they throw down to second in an attempt to throw him out. Right. They're just trying to bait the, the Reds into making a mistake. Sure. And the Reds are probably trying to bait the A's into doing that because you do the – I mean, it's not Little League baseball, so you have a shortstop that has a human arm. That's all mind games. You could run into the out at home pretty they just, easily. And nothing through matters. the hole, and that's the game. Okay, so are we gonna get a good Sally here? Uh, show okay. All right, kind of fundamental. Big hugs. Are they gonna take him down? Whoa, fireworks in the that. sky. That looks like Jesus. that looks like graphics from the truck that they like edited in. <laughs> kind of a tame World Series was it, winning was celebration. It three pinch hitters in a row. Let's see. Are they lifting him up? He's like, don't lift yeah, him up. Yeah, they're lifting him Please up. Please don't lift That's him up. That's not ideal. It's just one dude lifting him up. Um, I think it was two pinch hitters. That's awesome. Yeah, because it was your guy, Gene Ten. Okay, so Gonzalo pinched hit, but he got yanked. Then your dude, Gene Tennis, came up. Not a pinch hitter. Then Don Mincher and Angel Manuel. Yeah. It's a lot. It's a lot going on. Good for the A's. And by the way, like we were saying, if the Reds win this, they go up 3-1. This series ended up going 7, A's win. So that's a pretty big moment in oh, sports history. <laughs> game changer. Yeah. If you're a Reds fan, like you're you're crying right now if you can figure out that the game actually ended. You're like, Bro. right, you have no you, you still thought might you were about to tie the, the, the series ended. with yeah. an eighth inning comeback. Damn. 
in the 11th inning to take a one run lead the A's crowd anything there I don't know no you can't really see anything at all I kind of enjoy watching old baseball games and seeing the difference that was yeah, kind of enjoyable it's a little bit of a difference um god this A's team goes on they win three straight world series so this kind of fueled the dynasty without this who knows who knows? Who knows? This was brought to you by shop.johnboymedia.com. We got a bunch of shirts and shit, so go, go watch stuff. And then maybe we'll do this more if you guys enjoyed it. If you didn't, we may still do some more. Sorry. Because what else are you going to do? You're locked up. We're out. Bye.